Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 57, recorded on May 15th, 2019. I'm Agent Guni Guy. Hi, Agent Guni Guy. I'm Agent Zelly Belly. Hi, Agent Zelly Belly. I'm Agent Guni Guy. Awesome. Uh, just in case you didn't catch it the first time that you said it, said it again. I'm Agent Zolly Belly. And speaking of saying it again, it's another <laughs> episode of your favorite Ingress podcast. Because it's the only one that I know of that's still going. Woo! So that's how you win. You just outlast. Just keep, it's a marathon, it's, not a sprint. Let's just keep going. Just keep pushing episodes through eventually. But it's Get it's it's some sort of cred. It's kinda nice <laughs> that when you don't do one, someone says something. Yeah. Right? Like if you just yeah. didn't do one and no one said anything. It's yeah, like, oh, remember, you didn't do oh, an episode? Remember those days, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it just may be one person, but we love I, you. I you know who you are. Said. Yeah. No, I, I get stuff said. That makes them all feel like we're talking about them. Yeah. Oh yeah, the yeah. Our one favorite person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> anyway, so we uh have some stuff happening. There's an anomaly coming soon. There's an NL one three three one event coming soon. There's an anomaly that just happened, or I should say crappened. No. <gasps> no. No. Oh no, no. I didn't mean that. <laughs> you know I'm joking. Do not do that. We got some call ins from our favorite call in person. Which got... is anybody. <laughs> or or just you. You know who you are. Yeah. And so, why don't we just talk about uh, what we did this week? Hmm. Well, what did you do this week, sir? I, well, you I've been working your, on the website. And you worshipped your um, pod mother that gave you beings, I'm sure, because of the Mother's Day event in our culture. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Right. Did yeah. that. We ran a uh, a thing on New Futures. Um, to give certificates for donations. So I was working on that. But also, like I said, uh, revamping the website. So there's a new front page. If Did, you, was I a little harsh on, on the design of the website? The original one or the new one? No, the original one. It didn't matter. You could have been as harsh as you wanted to because I hated it. I really hated it. Like, it, I can't even pretend like, oh, I was too harsh. Like, I really hated it. It was no. really hard... For me personally to navigate, and I'm on the show, <laughs> like, so like <laughs> I was so frustrated, and like I gotta say, this whole revamp of our website. If you haven't been to our website like this week, and and like you've been frustrated with our website in the past, like go check it out, agentacademypodcast.com. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where like there's this big like you know image and then you just scroll and it's like slideshowy scroll up and you find like all of our content it's like awesome i love it well and there's still some stuff to do on it so yeah yeah but i mean just originally the problem was our host was crappy and so i had to remove like all the dynamic mm. stuff on the front and it was a lot okay. of just throwing stuff on there real quick and then i never had a chance to go back and fix it so gotcha we're fixing it I, I really like how the news features on there and then um, it's just so much better. And then how the podcast features on there a lot better too. So I like it. Because that's what we are. We're a podcast. So yeah. highlight it. We need the social stuff on there. We'll get to that. We'll get to some of the missing stuff. 
We'll, and we'll take off the the G plus stuff that's still on there. I know. Yeah. It's probably yeah. a little. And I think when you click on the one thing, uh, the, <laughs> the the middle square it says podcast. You click on it, it goes to our Twitter account, which is fine because our Twitter, I guess, eventually will tell you everywhere you need to go, or you can actually tweet to us and ask us if you're confused, and we'll answer you. So it it works for now. But for now. Yeah. But yeah, let us know good. what's missing that you were like, oh, it was easy to get to this, and now I can't. Yeah. Let us Honestly, know. Uh, I, I can't, okay, my one request is I would like a little bit more obvious, um, a, a little bit more obvious way to get to the community areas hmm. that we, that yeah. or are those gone? No, 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 no. Okay, so then I definitely want that to be a little <clears throat> more obvious. Here's a little secret about okay. websites and CMS is in general, WordPress, Drupal, Joomla. If you're logged in, it won't cache stuff because of the nature of needing to be logged in. Like there's some things that'll cache, but in general, and that's what makes the pages load faster is because oh, it, yeah. it keeps, I'm logged in. it's much better now that I've, I've, so I oh. changed the whole theme, which is a much faster theme than the one we're using. You've done a lot of work and I, I'm complaining as an end user and I know you've done so much work. It is so much better. And like, I want to sing your praises because I know like, yeah, you've, you've done so much to get us to this point. So, but we um, need the valid, like that you're, what you said is completely valid and it will get added. But I I don't want you to feel like, I I don't cock eyeing all over anything. I, (laughs) I appreciate your feedback. I appreciate all your work because I like it a lot, more, a lot better. So. Sounds we're in, in like couples therapy. I appreciate. Yeah. And I feel that <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so there's that, and then at work, it's so everything's been really busy because I was kind of the last developer at work on the the front end, like all our marketing web stuff in my area. But we just hired a couple people, so that oh. should lessen as I teach them how to do that stuff. stuff. Now, one of them, I found out at lunch that uh, she's a resistance agent. She knew. How? She knew she was hiring in. She knew. There's no way she didn't know. <laughs> it's... It's a, that's it's small world. I mean, there's yeah. 10 resistance agents that play in huntsville right so it's like oh, that's awesome oh uh, so now that's, it's like it's a little frustrating because i know i can't talk about some things at work now can i can i Is ask would you have hired her if you had known. so i've been thinking about this yes you would have no the answer is yes you would have because that would be like horribly horribly abusively wrong not to hire someone based on if, stupid me. No, no 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 so hear me out no. I feel no. I feel that no no listen okay so here's the thing if there were if all the situation was the same all the people that applied for it mm-hmm. no I would have definitely hired her okay even if I'd known now if there had been a candidate that was the exact same match qualifications and everything was the same except for that it might have been a weighing factor because there is, you know, we actually like take our um, hires out for lunch with everybody in our department and we make sure everybody kind of gets along and they just kind of gel because we want to hire people for like long term that get along. And that's just, it would be like if, uh, you know, as a Patriots fan and they were like a Chicago Bears no, fan. Is that how it goes? Someone's hiring on that. No. Well, no. I don't make the final decision. Can't even weigh in on it because it's unethical. Why sir. is that unethical? Sir. Because it is. You're what if they beat puppies? And you're like, I can't Their work with someone who life. beats puppies. That, um. Right? Well, resistance agents are known to. Uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> I did kidding, not say that. I didn't say it either. I actually said They're known to beat frogs. At least in Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, they beat the poo out of some frogs. That's right. So they're frog beaters. A fighting effort. So that was... Anyway, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. 
I so, can't believe that. No, it's I, actually I kind of awesome. Heard. Like, okay, because uh, for people who maybe newer to the show, um, back when I first started playing Ingress, what got me interested was, I mean, obviously Brent like talked about it, but he lives in Alabama. Like, you're a million miles away. It's hard to like. New, 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 new. It's no, but it's hard to get interested in a game when you don't have a local player to like show yes. you the ropes. Um, and when I first logged into the game and I started talking to people in the community, like it started to get out there that there was a rumor that someone I worked with played on the blue side. And so eventually I found out that wasn't true. Like the person didn't actually work where I work. They, they are in the vicinity, but they don't work there. Uh, but I was so, so like, really really um pulled into the game because i was like i thought it was this one particular coworker, and so i was like <laughs> hammering their their portals and stuff like crazy and getting my friends I'm like no i think it's so and so let's like go and you're like this. why aren't they reacting yeah, and so we had this like whole team like built and there was like i don't know they don't actually no oh, that's someone else that was bad information so i actually think it could be good to have like a coworker that plays on the other side to have this like playful espionage yeah it'll be good i think it'll be fun because it really did pull me into the game when i thought it was someone that i worked with so well you want to know the kicker is that they they don't really play ingress that much anymore they play just to get to uh level enough to to submit portals yeah so i think i'm safe except for she does have friends that still play yeah. And no, it's through. fun. You're going to have a fun time. So we'll see. But I do now have someone who will help me hmm. try to get a gazebo at work. That? Because yeah. she wants a, a you know, a, a portal. work portal there. That'll help. So. And, it, you know, you could always have that person put on a, a level eight resonator and then you flip it and then you make it a res- level eight. Res- and you could make a portal eight at work. <sighs> Yeah. For a little fracking party. Anyway, yeah. yeah. We'll it frack out. it up. So anyway, that's about <sighs> it for me. What about you? Uh, mine wasn't as nearly as fun as like finding out like people I know play the game. But um, I did hit... Oh, this is big. I hit okay. the 20 million AP mark. Holy crap. Which is... I'm at like 14.5. You know, so that's like halfway though to the to the 40 million you need to hit level 16 so um you've been kicking it each week we have well we have yeah we have these like little dollar store like I, oh i should submit a picture um i'll put it on my instagram maybe this week but uh it's a little dollar store literally dollar store frog that you would like put in your flower garden it has a little crown on it we call it the royal frog and you get it when you get the, to the 20 million <laughs> Oh, nice. So you have all the decorations on your desk, huh? We ha- oh, my, de- my desk is like the tackiest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> this week, we do like weekly prizes um, for the top three uh, AP earners for the week. And like this week was the um, It's Time to Move was the theme. And so this week you won um, a mosquito, one of those mosquito like spiral uh, wrist badges, you know what I mean? Like it's a mosquito repellent, but it's like a yeah, a it's stick. like almost like people put their keys on them. Yeah, thing, wrist, of, yeah, keychain thing. I bought green ones, so um, they poison those, you when you wear them. Yes, yes, you're gonna get like <laughs> horrible like tumors probably, oh, and then <laughs> but and then I got um these little green pear scented like hand sanitizers that are like in to go bottles, and then I had um. Uh, the local store had the spray on um, sunscreen and the 85 proof was in a green colored bottle so I'm like well you're getting 85 proof (laughs) so everyone got those this Uh, week so like I gave those out and it was kind of fun like the frog skin stuff or what is it yeah kind of that sounds fun uh, yeah and then uh, you know I talked about my first Saturday and uh, my badge came through so that's good. Yeah. That's so. good. Yeah. That was a good time. That's, that's, I guess that's all. That's all? That's all? Yes. Oh, so speaking of frogs, 
Uh, uh-huh. You made me think of something. When these new, we actually had three total hires. Two were in our, our department. One of the guys who works at work thought it would be funny to print out this photo that the old dude who left took a picture of him wearing my frog hat. And he photocopied these pictures and then put them on the back of the doors of all the new hires. And I'm like, I wonder if she kn- was like, he knew I was resistance and he's putting a frog on my door. Oh, like you're like. I didn't even think about that, yeah. but I got to ask her now. Like anyway. you're being a mean person. Yeah. yeah. Those jerky frogs. Now I'm really going to blow his crap up. Anyway. Situation report. We got a little bit of news. Hmm. 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 So are you happy about this first one? The old portal nominations? I am. I was like super excited yesterday. Um, I just noticed it yesterday, uh, but I guess it had been rolling out. And Andrew Craig had been, he, he went live and like said it was coming, but I obviously, a big slacker, missed that announcement. Mm-hmm. So I was like, just like, what? When it came out. <laughs> <laughs> so have you submitted any? Uh, not through the actual. Come on. I know. Um, I gotta get out. Gotta get out there. Yeah. Um, but I do have like seven or eight, like, in, okay. My problem is there's there's a gazebo on uh, like where I work on, mm-hmm. on the campus that I really want to submit, but the geese just had babies, and it's right near the pond. And they'll <laughs> and go after really you. Really aggressive. Like there's <laughs> like it made the news because they were uh. chasing the students. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm gonna wait and submit that. You know? <laughs> that might be a good picture. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be geese just coming at you. I don't want to be in the news. <laughs> <laughs> just... Not um, for that. So I'm going to kind of wait on that one. Uh, but I really like, uh, in case people don't know what I'm babbling on about, um, you can submit portals and portal nominations. Instead of submissions, they're called nominations now uh, in in uh, Ingress Prime. And you can submit right through the Prime app. And you just click the center circle over on the right. It'll say nominations. And you click it. It'll lead you through this really, like, it's a little detailed handheld tutorial. But in every submission you get to do kind of like a little um, photosphere and so what that does is it really makes sure that what you're submitting um, gets a accurate picture of its location and its distance away from other things so that submissions are accurate. So can you actually do okay so I know there's like a secondary picture that you can do mm-hmm. of the area. Can you actually it's do like a, a photosphere in that? It's not a full well, it's I'm just, not going to say yes or no because I haven't actually done it. But what I heard is it's not. Uh, so, and take this with a grain of salt because I haven't heard it. I haven't actually done it. But I've so heard I've it's done not one. A full sphere, but it's a. Sh- oh, you did. One I've one done w- one submission. <laughs> so well, because I was wondering if I missed like a toggle to like turn on photosphere, but it's it's basically just you can take another picture. So oh, l- like I, I did a, like a circle picture of this thing from two floors up and then I went down and I took a picture back so you could see where it was the location of it okay um, oh, so it's may- not a sphere no 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 it's just like a secondary <sighs> picture and the other thing they well, added is better. you can add you have description but then you have a secondary like field that you can fill out with just information about it like why would this be a good submission that won't be on the final portal that's good that's really good but we'll help OPR. And so I would like to do OPR too to see what you get on the back end. On that end, end of, of it. it. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen any submissions come through the OPR that seemed like they were different yet. Oh. But that's just me. Um, I'm interested hmm. to see what they look like when they come through. And I want to start doing some more OPR. And I would like to invite you to join me for some live OPRing where we could, I mean, it would be me like submitting it, so, but we could like. Yeah talk through them together and I think that would be a fun extra show like occasionally yeah. to do yeah so. I think that'd be great yeah. the other the other thing is I don't know the validity of this because I haven't tried it but apparently there may be a bug at the moment where you can submit your 14 in prime but then you can go and submit 14 in redacted to have ladies and gentlemen we have 28 submissions at the moment so that's pretty pretty awesome if that's true 
yeah, go out there. So how many did you get this time week? Time to move. It like really is time to move. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, but those won't have the extra details. So if you think you need the extra details, take the pictures in Prime. If you think it speaks for itself, like, take it in Redacted and then you geez, double up on your... Darn, get out there. <laughs> right. Geese, geese egg one. So I have a question for you. So the after AMAs and stuff, there's more and more baseball fields and fields being submitted. Yes. So your thumbs up on that. I like that. Well, it's all about getting... Okay, go ahead. Ask your question. I won't, I won't want you to know it yet. Well, my question is that, like, I get a field. I get, like, a sports complex. But it's like when you have, like... Baseball field one through four, because they'll put like four, okay. like right next to each other. Like, I don't know if that's hitting kind of the, the spirit. Like, I feel like you need like one for that You know area. how there's a one through five judgment star system and you go, <laughs> yes I or one no. star that. You <laughs> would go to be like, well, I know it's a good thing, but I'm going to give it like two or three. Cause mm, don't do that. Two. No. Well, that's what that star system's <laughs> for. Uh, yeah, no, th we have two, like, for example, there's two basketball courts outside, like, on campus, right next to each other. And, and uh, when we, uh, the person I was with, I was sh actually showing uh, the agent how to submit a portal. Um, and so she did her photosphere and submitted it. Uh, but we submitted the two basketball courts as just, the basketball courts right plural because they're right next to each other it seemed greedy in you know i, right. well, I don't know it just, and that i mean well it, and the location because they're right next to each other it's not going to create extra port i really don't know if they would have been two portal mm -hmm. submissions in Ingress, let alone Pokemon Go, because they're so close together. You know like, what I mean? They're like right you would have to do one at one end and then one on the other side <laughs> at the other end. But it, then too, because it's a campus, there's like in that area, there's other ones. Like I don't know if they would have been further away from those. So, right. um, I think we were happy with getting the one. So, um, I guess you have to just go with what's appropriate for your area. But like, yeah, in the town I live in. There is a um, a baseball softball complex, and there are multiple multiple fields, and it is listed as the baseball fields. And like just one portal. Yeah, and but it's a yeah. big area, and it's just like such a waste. It's wasted potential in mm, one sense, yeah. but the the fields have one entry point, and so if it's not open, like it would only be accessible to walking persons during events right and right. so then it wouldn't be appropriate for people to be walking in there it's, it's not open if there's no events going on so like i don't know it just it depends on the field the situation and, maybe yeah yeah that <clears throat> like what they're open to so i can yeah. see that i can see yeah that. so is the baseball field open to the public for hours outside of baseball games and like, because then I would say that, yes, that's more likely to be accessible for additional gameplay. Right. And there was an addendum on, on one of the AMAs where they, where Andrew asked NIA, the ops, about it. If it doesn't have a sign, I believe it says to one star those. So okay. they, they prefer, you know, it, it have a sign on it. Yeah. Which which makes sense. Like I feel like there needs to be a focal point for the portal, the portal, <laughs> the por the portal, portal something different. We don't talk about that. What on is this that? Show. I don't know. That's another podcast. It is, and we'll do that right after this one. So come back no. to the po no no portal. No, I'm gonna do anime. We're gonna what talk about go the portal nominations. So, speaking of the portal nominations. The resistance win in Amsterdam. Congrats! It was no. Oh, you don't have any cheers, like canned cheers. Come on, they earned it. The frogs brought out the the lens and everything, and it was a. So it was it close. Was 
It was a good it was effort. a hard fight. By all. Yeah. So it brings Chicago down to, you know, it's going to be a, a tie. Down to the wire. I mean, yeah, it's it's not going to be a tie. And now, it's gonna be... for Chicago, all events are worth double, making all other events meaningless. <laughs> so, well, okay, so if that's I were true. to, that's like... True. That's not true at all. I, that's a bad joke, sorry. If I were to wear my tinfoil hat, I need to get one. Yeah. I, I might you. think, if you look at all the scores, like mm. they even posted a thing about Rez wins this. And like, it was just very even all the way down, mm. which could be because there's two teams. Yeah. But there's also like, could they Conspiracy be. Conspiracy theory. It, it, it kind of helps them out if it's close. Well, yeah, because if Green had landslided both of these. Basically, be like, why go to Chicago? Except for like that, Chicago's awesome. Like, <laughs> or at least you know? the resistance wouldn't show up, probably, right? Yeah. Because it's like, well, there's n- no reason to win, well, and we'll just be watching then, frogs running no, around see, partying. That's the whole thing. That's where they get you, because like then, re- like you would think resistance would be like, oh, why show up? So actually, in line would be like, we don't need to show up, and they're sandbagging because they're j- or not really sandbagging. No, that's the wrong term. Anyway, yeah. it's like when you get like. You get overhyped because you know you're going to win a game because you're playing a loser team. And then they kick your butt. Like, what's that called? Yeah. That's like a thing in sports. I it is. And you get overconfident. Yeah, yeah. Something but there's like, like a that? term for that. No. Anyway. I'm sports ball terms. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. So, like, no. it make, it's it, I think it would work out fine even if uh, Green or Blue had won either of the other events because then they would have been overconfident. And then in Chicago, like, the other team would have, like, you know, well, because it's worth two points. But if dog. if one team had won everything but Chicago, yeah, and it's they, it's a series, they'd have so rallied, it's like, man. But it wouldn't have mattered because the total points the team would have still won, even losing, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that works. No, I think it's like no, because I think like uh, I think they have it figured out like well, hmm. better, smarter than we. Or do. it's all rigged. It's no, all it's just right. flat it's out right. rigged. No, 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 no you don't think no. so. I'm sure, that's not the case. I hope it's not because there's a lot of agents that do a lot of work. A lot, no, it's a lot of effort, and it's awesome. And I'm very excited for Chicago this uh, this month. Let's see what yeah. happens. But I would like to see the storyboards for if the other side won. All these events, like, do they have it prepared? Yeah, they do. Mm, they would maybe. Have to. They, well, they wouldn't have to Neither. if they knew who was going to win. That's, That's you know. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work there. You Come just, up with. I mean, it's a storyboard. Just, it's a, it's, it's a storyboard. It's on a whiteboard, so you just like wipe it off. It's not a big deal. <laughs> all right. But yeah, so all roads lead to Chicago. Uh, yeah, and I've been following on Instagram, like, a lot. There, just going to put it out there. A lot of blue hype for Chicago. A lot of bring the hat home. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's a big deal. Oh, I thought instance. it was bring the hate home or something. No, it's or... a hat. It's a physical hat I've seen people wear. I know. I don't there know was what, just... Do you know what that's about? There was an email they, they sent out, I believe, somewhere where they misspelled it, and it was like, bring the that's hate home or something. True. It is true. It's absolutely true. It was funny. I don't know. I'm sure they uh, fixed it, though. And then there's um, Chicago will be blue hashtag. It's a policeman Vig, hat. They're, that's what they're, ra- they're, they're really, really hyping it up to get the whole spirit going so but is it pa chapeau's hat are they bringing that home i don't know it's like this weird like hat i don't know it's like a the policeman's like a, hat fireman's hat like a, yeah it's kind of like this militaryish hat I don't, I don't know i i don't know the story behind it so and uh i apologize if i'm being offensive but i've only been playing for a year so i don't really get all this stuff yet so i'm really trying if someone knows send us in the like the, the detailed what information the bring the hat home story i see it I see a hashtag. I see people wearing it, but I don't know what this. And I've kind of, I have looked, but I don't know the story. So that'd be interesting. So la la la. Um, I, <laughs> I heard a little bird, a little green bird, told me that someone was an embedded reporter. Oh yeah, I thought we talked about that. 
We didn't talk mm-hmm. about that? No. I don't know. If, well, but, it, you know, we haven't heard to talk about it yet this episode, so good to remind people. Um, So, yeah, and I'm actually kind of preparing all the stuff because I've, I'm going to be an embedded reporter for Chicago, and that involves me taking a certain amount of photos or videos per hour, which you know how good I am at that. I yeah. love this! And so I'm working out how to make sure I get all that in and don't miss stuff. So Uh uh I'm trying to set up like buffer and my camera has wireless on it. So I can just, I'm going to automate it to send it to a folder and then I can pick which one I want, which will put in my buffer, which already have my hashtags ready. And then, uh, so hopefully I can get that all set up. Um, can I have a request? Yes. Request away. I would be willing to kind of be live here from my like base, you know, now I'm not there. I can't be embedded, but I, w- I would like to kind of cover like what's going with scores and like try and capture the hashtag of embedded reporters and stuff like that through the couple of hours that the actual anomaly is happening. Uh, and then we, if, I mean, I don't know what you're going to be doing, but if you could break in and go live, you could just, like, text me and be like, I got, I can go live for an interview real quick or before or after oh, yeah. or whatever. Well, Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. We could just and set up just a, a peer, our normal. Our, yeah. Our, I won't yeah, give the name out. Yeah. Normal <laughs> stuff. Go and ahead, I can just, because there's an app for it. So I can just turn um, the app on and I'll be right there live. Yeah, and then, but I mean, I know you'll probably be like talking to so many people that, like, during the live events, you might not be available, but maybe afterwards, uh, like, directly afterwards, you could kind of give us a, a behind the scenes. Thing. Or what if I could do that like every quarter and that could be one of my social media if things if you would, tweet it for me when we do it? I could. That would be, would it would count? Yes, because it's our the up. Agent Academy Twitter is that's the social the one media. That's embedded report. Okay, that yeah. would be great. We could totally do that then. So technically, we're the embedded we're reporter. We're an embedded reporter. Okay, that's fun. And yeah, I'll I'll do my best to like get this set up and cover what I can. I know it'll be kind of boring, uh, mostly, but uh, no one else is like doing a live stream. So right? No, I think it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> And then yeah. if I can find, you know, Andrew on the ground or something, or, or one of the, break in. the actors, yeah. break in and have a little live interview kind of thing. Mm. And they're like, I'm trying to activate the Darsana lens. You need to leave me alone. Be like, no, no, no. no. Yeah. Let's, let's talk for a second. Tell me, what does that feel like? Cause so that's, that's the thing. Oh. Resistance <laughs> still has a lens to use. Yeah. We don't. Or yeah. the Enlightened doesn't. We burned it. So we'll see. <sighs> Showing our bias. Showing our bias. One of us, you know what? When you recurse, you need to go blue. Um, so we have an unbiased that's not team happening. here. It's not happening. I have seen what happens when people recurse. Yeah, it's not I always too. a good, Fine. good. Si- at least around here, it was not a good situation. Oh, we've had people recurse and flip, and they've been like super awesome. It's fine. Well, I, I think it but all you know what? depends. I'm I'm at, okay, like, I'm at this level of the ingress community, even locally. <laughs> like, we're talking about stuff that's up here, so maybe I don't know everything. <laughs> I just I can't afford the wardrobe me. change. I don't know. Yeah. But I, it's just, you know, all your friends are talking enlightened stuff, hmm. and also oh. they're not going to be able to talk about it around you, and that's a big mm-hmm. part of my life. Well, I'm not like, yeah. yeah, I'm not switching. So, it's not happening. I'm not switching. I would have Ever. to make like, 10 for people life. switch to switch. And I'm not switching. <laughs> right. You all have to either start over right. or We're get all to in on 16. This. We're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep the frog on our desk now. How about that? <laughs> oh, yeah. I bought that cool frog. <laughs> anyway. So, oh, Dewey J, get new friends. Oh, how about you uh, come on over to E&L? <laughs> new friends? It's hard. Yeah. Man. I'm I'm the one who made all them go green. <laughs> okay. So, but in in the spirit of harmony, like, I actually just talked a coworker today into playing. So, yeah, <laughs> made her go green. 
<laughs> oh, you went green. I said blue. You didn't. You need to send in a faction change she would real ch quick. Yeah. You know how you know how, like tender it is at the beginning. <laughs> you use tender to recruit. No tender. Oh. Like it's a, it's a very tender. I was gonna say that might not work well. Beginning because the game like that intro that tutorial is like the length of a bible <laughs> they're just like what is this and I'm like just stick with it just, look, just, just give me your phone it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you swipe right and you've got a new recruit badge no that's different oh anyway well, that's how that worked so we even though we are both enlightened mm -hmm. we I know you made some buttons and so we're gonna bring some buttons you're going to give some to me, I think, to take to Chicago. I am. I need blue buttons and blue-green buttons. Blue buttons, and I made green buttons. See? So we'll have some for both factions. And we have stickers. So we have uh, a Euro uh, oval thing cool. for Resistance like and Enlightened. And so uh, first come, first serve. There's 50 can I of one? each. Oh, can I get one when you stop yes. by? Yes. Oh, definitely. I will give you um, half. So there'll be uh, 25 total in Chicago. You're you're going to an anomaly. You need most, not half. You need most. Well, but we'll work on that. We'll talk yeah. about that. I won't see fifty people. Fifty that know I have them. Okay. The only reason I ran out of buttons last time was because I just put them on the table. <laughs> Take them, somebody, and they're probably sitting there in the park, <laughs> still, just right there. No one wants to touch them. I uh, I told you I gave out hand I gave like handfuls out to people on the first Saturday, like the three people I talked to, but they were really happy because they're running mission days and stuff, so they were actually going to use them for like just giveaways. So people oh, that's who show awesome. up, they get at least like it's good to give people something. Yeah. So yeah, so they were happy. I'm like I I have something. Yeah, and that's speaking of next <laughs> next uh, first Saturday in. June, yes, mm. that is the next one, is going to be three times AP. So, <sighs> go. And this is from doing the the Earth Day thing, I believe, right? I'm not happy about this. You're not going? It is my best friend's baby shower. Ooh. So, yeah. Mm. Can you show funny. up late? <laughs> no, it's my best friend's baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. Well, you'll just have to go uh, play three times more than you would in a normal week, and then okay. you, that'll make up for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sound so enthused. Okay. If I must. No, because I was actually kind of excited because a couple of us were talking about going to that one. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to go. Oh. Uh -huh. Bestie takes. You know, pestilence. yes, definitely does. I guess. Why isn't she playing? We'll talk about that later. Mm. <laughs> so, also with first Saturday, there is a new AP requirement. It's really low, though. I believe it's only five K AP yeah. during the event to get the the badge and all the other requirements, uh, as long as you submit everything in a in a proper amount of time. They just added this in like today, right? We just kind of learned this. Yeah, just like this past week. I don't know if it was Ish. active for the last first Saturday. I don't think it was. I think it's. I don't think it was new. New. Uh, but um, did they actually have a reason for the change, or is it all speculation? From so they there's a chat once you start doing a first Saturday. There's actually a Slack that you'll get invited to, or you'll you can ask to get invited to it. And in there, they were they talk all the time about like things they need to change you know so they change like from an hour to half an hour from when things uh happened at the uh, or the the uh, restocking portal at the end it mm. used to be an hour after the event this is i believe a change that came from that because that was something they were discussing for a while was people would just come by and basically dirty hack the portal and, and head off and not do anything else and get you know the rewards no. And so they want to make sure there are people actually, you know, at least doing something. Yeah. You know, make two fields and or be happy. A little yeah. more. Two double fields. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Um I mean my Some people were calling for, for like a hundred K, so 
but you don't want it to be like something where it's actually difficult to get because yeah. then you'll discourage people from going and it's supposed to be a social happy fun community day of getting together so and it's not that 100k is hard to get like i think i got like 90k and literally most of the time i sat in a pub with my husband because um I didn't know anybody going to my first first Saturday and so that's intimidating for some people yeah. like I I know I do a podcast but I, I get like there's two me's there's one me where I'm like show up and I'm like yay and then there's the me that's like hi okay hi, I don't want to talk to anyone <laughs> and I never know which me's gonna show up that day and uh, for first Saturday it was the oh my god I don't know what I'm gonna do my hands <laughs> Shannon, so <laughs> that's what I did. Yeah. Um, and, but my husband went with me, and he doesn't play, he doesn't want to play, he doesn't want to like do all that stuff. So it's just not something he wants to get. But he went with me, and he was being supportive because he understands it's important to me, and he, you know, like he deserves the badge for that. Yeah, 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 he does, right? And he probably but, doesn't um, even care. But but he doesn't you care. care. About the badge, but I care about the badge. But also, too, I don't want to drag him around to something he's uncomfortable with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So we did a mission. Then we went and had um, appetizers at a little place that he wanted to check out um, in in the town, which is kind of like part of the agreement of going there. <laughs> and, and then um, I blew up, like, luckily that was a portal, and I kind of blew that up a billion times and, to, and yeah. like, burned it out. And then we went on and I did another little mission. And then that was the day. So I I would have made, I wouldn't have made the 100K, though. Right. Yeah, but I was as active as I wanted to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, for a first set it was my first and t to like going into like what a first Saturday is you don't want to scare off people who this is their oh it's like oh okay this is my first Saturday but it doesn't count screw right. that why would I come right. back you know well and the thing is make an effort. the thing is it really like I think it just makes some of the people who kind of run it feel better but in all honesty, you can still go dirty hack the portal, go an hour away from the event, make your 5K, and still get the badge. Like it's, there's no restriction on where you go and play and make the AP. Like that's one of the things that a lot of people do is they go to where everybody is, hack the portal, start, and then they mm -hmm. go to the densest place that no one's going to be at to go and oh. microfield it and make a ton of AP that way. And it and it's. You know, so people play their different ways, and I think it's just, you know, the the people at Fev Games are trying to make the people who are supporting them by running them happy by, you know, doing some things that, that make them happy. Yeah. And I think it's low enough that it's not going to hurt anybody. Like, it's not going to stop anybody from getting it. Yeah. You're definitely participating with 5K, but you're not requiring someone to... You're you're not gonna like ruin someone's time if they're a level one and yeah. they're at their first Saturday. You could probably just glyph hack a few portals the entire time and get enough, right? I hope so. Yeah, fill out a few res, you'll be good. Yeah, like eight Especially eight hacks, the they tend eight to really good at. hacks. Yeah, they the towns they tend to be in have certain requirements for um, portal density ishness that you're fine usually for. Right. Oh no, there's no requirement on first Saturday. Oh, it could well, be in the smallest town. Mission days have a requirement that I don't know. <laughs> that uh, you, like you actually need to get your like chamber of commerce involved, kind of requirement. Wow. Uh, so, but yeah, no, anyone can start it. You just need. We should do a first Saturday episode because we actually had I had a a question from um, an agent. Uh, just last week about um, First Saturday and asking some information about it. And That'd be good. I think it would be good yeah, for like, an episode. I had these assumptions, so yeah. That would be good to clarify. And maybe if you wrote a blog post and simplified it and kind of just we talk about it on the show and shared that information and um, 
showed how easy it was, then it would uh, create more for Saturdays and more towns. Perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. And maybe it wouldn't. But it probably would. Probably would. Probably would. It would be... Um, and we need a new post, so sounds like a good idea. I have a question. Yes. Why did I have a new terms of service when I logged in today? Their terms of service changed, and so you signed oh. it. But, like, what was it? Because, like, I'm not reading it. I just was like, yup. Because I was walking from the building to my car, and I'm like, but I need to hack this, so yes. <laughs> right. I didn't, I didn't check it out at all. <laughs> Does anyone who doesn't have a law degree actually read those entirety? I like might this, have sold my dog to them. I have no idea. It, I think he did. I mean, <laughs> they could put in like, you know, get $10 for reading this. Just click on this at the end of it and know it, you know, they'd be safe for a while. Yeah, go away. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I believe the change they put in was actually something about using ingress means the possibility of other people finding out your locations. That's true. Sort of information. I guess that's good to tell people. There was also, and this is something that changed a while ago when they merged, because they merged everything into kind of like one TOS, and, and so they don't have to have them for each game I guess it's just one oh. for Niantic properties and they removed wording in there about uh, wind trading and oh. I don't know if it was intentional but someone mentioned it again today I saw about it being out of you know the current one and I don't know if it was in the in the original TOS or if it was in the agent guidelines because they, they had TOS, but they had like a secondary document with, that was basically like, this is how you should act as an agent. And so I don't know if that just kind of vanished when they changed the website. And it could just be oversight. I don't know if it was in the yeah. actual TOS or not. Could have been. I don't know. I don't know because I, I didn't read it. Right. It's, even if you read it, it's like it doesn't really make complete sense i'm gonna be honest like what what does that like mean? 45 seconds into reading it i'm just gonna be like there words 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 and i work in a library <laughs> like and i'm still like <laughs> you like words services are like so bad so yeah <laughs> like i can't i can't i don't know it's how like, anyone else can <laughs> when words were written by a lawyer for a lawyer us like, us average a, average folks shouldn't have be required I, to read I'm it and sign it. Like a tag team has to go into writing a terms of service because the people are going to sleep while they're doing it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my she's turn! Out. She's out. <laughs> tag in. <laughs> I'll type and then their snoring wakes up the next person. <laughs> That's how it works. It's awful. Hey, but what doesn't put you to sleep is making money for shelters and Agent Ninth Ant. Wait, am I saying that right? Is it Ninth I Ant? I don't know. Yeah, Ninth Ant is leveling from one to eight on just Toast Beacons alone at 500 AP a piece. It's going to take quite a bit, I believe, around a thousand dollars. A bajillion dollars, yeah. A bit, yeah. It might as well be. And here's the kicker. So. He also made a statement about for every person that Cinema Comms message, he would donate, I believe, $10 to a local woman shelter, thinking that this would be a local event. Well, it got picked up by uh, Telegram channels, by us, by a bunch of people, basically went global. And I think it ended up being like $10,000 or a lot of money. So... I don't know how that's turned out. We will update the the post on it as we uh, find more news. I do know they have a sit rep for the whole thing, which I believe is in this post. If not, we will add it, and then you can read like what's going on. I know there were some agents helping them out so that uh, they would actually be able to follow through on the donations to the women's shelter. So it's an incredible idea i mean that's a lot of money to help a a lot of uh people that need it so great job 
Good work, Agent Ninth Ant. It's amazing. It's, fa- it's a fantastic idea. It's, yeah. And they'll be going away soon, too. Wow. So get all your toast get your uh, beacons toast. now. Get them in your account. I think all resistance agents should get about 2,000 beacons and just sit them in your account, at least until after Chicago. <laughs> That's For the good cause. Right. Right, yeah. right. Hmm. Bring home the bread beacon hat in Chicago. Okay. Hashtag something. I like it. Also, there's some upcoming dates for NL1331 coming up, kind of making its way to Chicago. So on the 11th, which already happened, and the 12th already happened, uh, but the 18th, it'll be in Springfield, Illinois with the Simpsons, and then Fort Wayne, Indiana on the 19th, and then Ann Arbor, Michigan on the 23rd. Actually not in Ann Arbor. Oh, that's what they said. Yeah, they they have it as Ann Arbor, but it's actually in Ypsilanti. I don't know why they said Ann Arbor. Maybe because Ann Arbor is more well known, but the actual location is in Ypsilanti. Ypsilanti. Do you know where that is? I why. Yeah. I know where that is. <laughs> in Aubrey's Pizzeria and Grill. Yeah. It is. There are, Ypsilanti. There are two Ypsilanti. The funny, maybe, I don't know why, but uh, there are actually two Aubrey's in Ypsilanti. So. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, owned by the same people, um, so it's just kind of funny. But um, so look for the van, and if it's not there, go to the other one. Go to the other one, yeah. And there might be, there might be a if if you are a person who is able to make the trek to that event, there might be a special agent academy mission. Oh, in the area. There is because the guy. <laughs> <laughs> there is secret. <laughs> It'll it'll be available until June. Um, I've been told if I delete a mission, that the people who've earned the mission retain the badge. It's true. I would like. Okay, I want like superhuman confirmation of that because I've done it. I have a I have a done that a mission right now that I have deleted so no one else can do. Okay. Because I would like, because the actual mission says that it's for the May 2019 uh, meetup. So yeah. I, I would like to then delete it so that it's kind of just special for this month. Yeah. Well, then you could just update it event. every time you wanted to. Well, no, you want to keep the name yeah. the same, right? But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So you could do a new one. I mean, that's the only. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just because yeah. uh, I plan on being there, and I was hoping you would be there. I'm hoping to be there, too. Yeah. So we're trying to have an actual Agent Academy meetup there as well. So Do you think that's Ethan would be plan. mad if we put stickers on his van? You cannot put stickers on the van. You can <laughs> not do that. Uh, but um, the hope is that we'll both be there. So we'll actually have our very, very first... Uh, since I've been part of the show anyway, Agent Academy meetup. <laughs> before then, it wasn't really hard to meet up because you and Agent Soho live like next door. So, right. Yeah, yeah he would come over here to do the show, yeah. so it made it easy. Not a big deal. Uh, he would but... sit on my lap, and we'd meet up <laughs> and use Tinder. Swipe right. Recruit, recruit. I don't know where that's going. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping. Uh, I'm hoping it all works out. We're still working on some details, so it might not. But. Uh, that's the hope at this at this moment, but I wanted to get the mission approved in case it does work. Obviously, that like anyone who's tried to get a mission approved knows like you can't just submit it like the day before and hope it goes live. Right. So, yeah, so I got it approved in advance. Uh, did get rejected the first time. So what? Um, well, because I mentioned the NL one three three one X in the description, and I think because you're not supposed to mention anything official. Like you're not supposed to imply that what that you're it's doing like an ingress Niantic. is in any way official, and like yeah, like obviously the mission has nothing to do with them. It's just our social thing of right. meeting there, and then people who know of the show and enjoy the show meeting there. So uh, it, it is six portals as close to that area um, as possible, and it's a hack only. It's trying to be as simple as possible so. that's a good one yeah 
That's a good one. So, I guess that's all the news, right? I think that's all we got, sir. We have a uh, call in. Ooh. Um, I'm going to play this, but I'm also trying to work on the badge at the same time for the website. Okay. <laughs> You would think having an extra couple of days it would have been done. Because I thought it was done. I don't know why I think it done. You've been busy. I've been busy. It's fine. Anyway. Here comes Agent Dewey J. Hey, agents. Got an idea. Not so much for what's in the capsule, but more of an idea for a change in statistics. Why don't we add a cards and codes stat? That way it would keep track of how much AP that player has gained by redeeming cards or codes, and you can see how much AP that account has from pay and how much they have from play. It might be kind of helpful to figure out if that account might be a spoofer or not. Just an idea. Thanks, everybody. Bye. That's interesting. I did find uh, an Instagram account that is completely based on posting pictures of Ingress accounts that they believe are spoofers uh, based oh. on like, yeah, based on their badges and stuff like that. Uh, so, uh, they, and so it's, it's kind of a thing people are already doing like that. They're kind of trying to investigate like, okay, how could someone have these badges and be a legitimate player? Um, so, yeah, to have like that out there that maybe, you know, 80% of someone's gameplay is based on card purchases. But, you know, that... It's like, what's I'm going sure, on? Like, okay, but I'm sure um, Niantic already investigates all those things. Like if they just have just have like codes that they're just like, plugging, come in, on plugging now. in, plugging in, plugging in. And no, but what if sudden, someone just sudden, likes to buy codes? And like, then all, oh, but they're then, not supposed to. Are okay, they allowed to buy that, the cards if they're no, on? No, like, that's that's legitimate gameplay. You are allowed to go ahead and buy things, like. Uh, but I guess then like also, events. Like if you just went to all the events. But if you went to the events, you would yeah. be hacking the portals. Yeah. Yeah. You should so, have like, some other stats, right? You should have some other travel yeah. stats, at least. See, I'm trying to something. play like devil's advocate, yeah, but it's not working. Yeah. It's not working. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. Because for the NL1331 X meetup, I bought like a, I, I get like a card with that, but like obviously I have other stats. Go and But if I was a level one... <sighs> And, and the other thing too, like if you're a level one, but you know enough to plug in every single, you know, never-ending code, like right. <laughs> but you have never hacked something else, uh, and, and yet you're traveling the world to just explode certain specific portals. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking like that Niantic themselves kind of have that. Like flagged, I I would like to think that that's flagged. Am I naive? I might be naive. No, I don't think you are. I I, you know, it's like one of those things. Like, so my son's gonna be going with me to Chicago. Mm -hmm. He does not play Ingress, but if he gets a code there, he may put it into his scanner, just because. Though the the last anomaly he went to me with, he he gave me his card because it came with um. It was a loadout card that came with um, capsules at the time. Um, Mof Mofugs. So uh, he doesn't. So he probably would give it to me, but I would already have it too. So, but he may put it in there, right? Yeah. And his stats are. He has some stats. See, I don't know. It's there's always like that situation, and like I'm always trying to. I'm trying to play. Yeah, I always try to play devil's advocate for like the super casual player. I want to think the, the best of everyone. Who's, you know, bestie or so perhaps um, gives them tips about things so they they don't do the gameplay, but they have some of the advantage. And like, and like that's where you have that gray area. 
Like, it is allowed. It's not, a, you know, right. putting those things in isn't wrong. It's suspicious. So. But, yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's it's a witch hunt at that point. That's all that is. <laughs> right. Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel I'm, I'm exhausted thinking Just about, talking like, about it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and we're going to have to uh, wait on the code later. Well, I'll tell you, when we get to that point, I'll talk about it. But anyway, right. I think a uh, good question. And uh, so good, we're going to play a second one from Agent Dewey J. Hey, agents. Got a what's in the capsule for you. Seems like we should have had this one before. Why don't we have a recycler badge? I mean, it is one of those tasks that you do a lot. Set that number way up high for the gold and then it might give some people reason to not be dropping crap all over the ground. What do you think? Bye. Doesn't hurt. Goes with the go, go uh, I don't know, environmental thing. <laughs> right, right. So, I was yeah. going to say go green, but that would be real like, Raz are like, no! <laughs> so it would be almost like a, a, a freebie badge. Kind of yeah, like recharging, which is like re- it would bad, be a recharger but, badge, pretty much. Um, and, and people who recharge a lot are probably recycling a lot at the same time. Yes. Um, but I mean, so, you know, mm-hmm. if you're making fields, you're also making links, and you're doing portals. So it's just, an, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, no, I like it. How many? I mean, think about like I'm nowhere near. I'm I just hit my twenty million mark. I'm nowhere near recursing. I just recycle so many level one through four bursters it's ridiculous mm-hmm. like they're just oh and prime makes it so easy sometimes i just sometimes i just launch them i'm like eh, I don't know. <laughs> but you know like you reach you yeah. recycle so many of those but um yeah and I know people who just hate to i know people who like to recharge i know people who hate to recharge and i think recycling is kind of the same thing. So I yeah, hate recharging. I hate it. It feels so monotonous and just it doesn't bother me. So. I will pour through power cubes. Um, I I stop at uh, I stop at my Lawson's, but <laughs> I will pour through power cubes. Just like oh, that needs that needs to stay. Uh-huh. That needs to stay. <laughs> It doesn't. It totally doesn't need to stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Like around here, I just recharge things that I feel are important because I want everything else to drop for the most mm-hmm. part because I, I need yeah. AP and there's no one over here really blowing the stuff up. So it's just going to sit there until it dies. I so. have a park. I'm kind of waiting to die right now. And I hate letting it die but honestly letting it die and this retaking is a lot it's a better use of ap and my equipment than struggling to find the cubes to recharge it yeah and if you can figure out a cycle where you do half the resonators each time then maybe the fields will drop when just oh. enough resonators fall off, no, I so it can you can I'm throw sorry. it even faster. I'm sorry, Agent Greening. I should clarify. I field and link like a maniac. Like it is, there is no plan. There is <laughs> no coordination. You just do the, the, the peanuts just, treatment. It's like shooting webs everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I unload my 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 uh, keys for that area, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> 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 if it shows, <laughs> it throws. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's in city limits. That's in city. <laughs> that's it's, okay. That's it's a mess. That's pretty much how Madison is. Like <laughs> once I start hitting into the area where I know other agents play, then I I, 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 yeah. I will reel that in. Yeah, I. The only other person that plays in my area like regularly is a resistance player. So it's like, well, I'm supposed to make him not happy. So, And he's a nice person. He's a super nice person. But I'm also, I'm not supposed to help him. So it's like that. Well, Enjoy my like shit, Link. Yeah, if you don't like it, blow it up. 
do me a favor. Favor uh, dunt. Yeah. So. But no, so. I like the idea of that being a thing. But, uh, you know, all they would do then is, uh, and it, it probably Dewey J's at a level where he doesn't care, uh, but all they would do then for people leveling up is then like, okay, if you needed two gold, now you need three gold to level. <laughs> because oh, we right. Need it. right. Super easy. Yeah, they would just kind of change the requirements to reflect that. But, um, but yeah, they took away Guardian, so give us another thing to work for. I and was hoping at the last event when they said we had to get a certain amount of portals above the whatever to get the badge and then you had to do the whatever to get the gold badge. I was hoping they would add in, well, and if you beat that minimum by another 100,000, then we'll up that badge you know, to the next level. And then if you do it by another 100, so you can actually work on getting an onyx for that, but then it requires the whole world to do even more but, I mean, they've never really sneakily done that before, have they? The badges? No, or, or like a tier, never, like raise yeah, the tiers. Yeah, they've never, no. like, Not surprised that I know. you with the tier in the past. That, that would be really unfair, yeah. because a lot of people would say, well, I would have worked towards that had I known. Yeah, no, but, no, no, I wouldn't want a surprise. Like, yeah. I was hoping when they did the event that oh, I see. they would have added that in. Because I don't like getting, I don't know. I don't like the gold. idea of a max gold badge. Even yeah. though some of them are going to take so long, it might as well be. But I've, I've heard that complaint from people. I'm happy, but I, I've heard that complaint from yeah. people. Yeah, and some people were mad because they thought silver looked better than gold, and if they had known, they would have oh. not gone gold and, and kept I'm silver. I'm sorry. For those of you with yeah. the YouTube, you just saw me roll my eyes so hard. <laughs> I there's so many comments, about, but it's ugly. But this one's prettier. But this, like, that's such an opinion. Like, yeah. uh, I don't think that's fair. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's fair to like, um, be mad that the one you think is prettiest isn't the one you want. Then stop. Stop at silver. There but it's another. It's another idea. What if they let you? change which like long as you got gold then you could change what's displayed in your thing to bronze or silver or gold i guess <laughs> oh but no I, don't want any more eye rolling let's just move on i i don't think that's a bad <laughs> idea um it is i it got is, so it, because i'm eye rolling it, this is something i don't care about but i, ah. I understand people Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so hoing the idea. I got so hoed. Go. Bam! So hoing. Yeah! Okay. Unknown technology. Okay, so that was uh, so. Now we're in the final part of the show where we normally give out a passcode. It's mm -hmm. uh, so I, I think I broke something in the site because normally I just duplicate like a previous form and. And then just change a few things. Well, it's not duplicating. So I've got to fix that. There will be a badge eventually. Should we give out a code that they can give out later? Or just give out the code ne next episode? What do you think? Give out two codes next episode. That wouldn't be fair, though, if they or, can't listen. Mm, that's true. So or give me a word. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. Idea. You can mm -hmm. you can you can Soho it because like people are complaining we didn't Soho the ideas. Uh, <laughs> you can you can Soho this idea if you like. But what if we use this opportunity ha -ha, as um, a way to promote our social media? So if you're following us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, we will put the code out on that this week, and that's how you. When get it's it. ready. Yeah. Okay, you heard it here. Yeah. So it'll take them listening to the show to know that. So, but maybe we should disguise it in a way. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll hide it. I'll, you, uh... They know what the code, how it goes. AA, a word, AA. Yeah. So when you and see that on one of those accounts. We'll, we'll sneak it in maybe to a hashtag because people don't pay attention to hashtags anyway. I'll sneak it into a hashtag. Okay. That's what we'll do. For, I'll do that for the Twitter and the Instagram and then you have to, you're screwed with the Facebook because I don't do that. Just let me know. I'll 
Copy yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. We'll work on it. I think well, it'll be fine. That sounds like a good idea. Lawson Power Cube disengaged. Oh man. That's that's the end of the show. It's the end bumper. Is that? Not does that energy. Work? Wah, wah. That's all I got. All I got. You got anything else? I want to watch some anime. Some more anime? Mm. Some Ingress anime. It's a late tonight, maybe. That sounds good. All right. So thanks, everyone, for watching another episode or listening to it. Uh, we did... Oh, I meant to talk about uh, I, Ar- Arctic Rebels idea, but we'll talk about that next episode. Okay. Something for you to look forward to. Anyway... Oh. Thanks for uh, tuning in. We'll see you, or will we? Wait, what's next week? It's right before Anomaly. It gets dicey there. I will warn y'all. That will be a couple days. Monday before. Yeah. Gets dicey. We'll do what we can. Might see you that Thursday, and then we're. uh, We'll have a better idea by then if we're gonna be able to do like some sort of live coverage. So. Yeah. Work out the details better. Yeah. So come to the live stream next week. Hopefully we'll have it. That's all I'm worried about is it gets dicey. But we'll do our best. I'm planning on it, but I'm not traveling. So it's not up to me. I think it'll be okay. I think, think it'll be okay. I think we can do it. Because I'm not having to do as much prep as I normally do for anomalies. Because you're an embedded reporter, so you're not in on the, on the stuff. What do they call that? The sit it reps or no the hmm? spec ops the what uh, do they call it when you're in the no there's a name for it oh i don't i don't know what you're talking about you're talking about like opsec yes <laughs> i yeah i don't i'm not in the, in on that don't know it cool i don't kids. i don't have to uh, uh worry about that so mm. anyway see y'all next week good night <laughs> Ah!